Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tisha if you're new here. Sorry, my hair's crazy. It is blowing crazy outside. So if you can hear that, I apologize, but I did want to film this video today. I've been going through and organizing this whole little section of my office where I do most of my videos and I keep most of my collection. So um, this is going to be part three of my candle collection. You should have already seen my fine fragrance mists, my body creams and lotions, and I also have a shower gel video. So I just kind of split it up because it's a lot. I know some people do like a two hour video and like hoorah to you because I just don't think I could handle it. So I've been splitting this up and um, more little comfortable chunks and putting it all away and organizing it. So I've kind of got a great system. And at the end of this video, after I go through this last little bit, which is mostly after SAS sales, candle collections that have come out that I wanted to collect or keep or have two of. Um, a lot of my candles that I have a little bit of a hoard going on and I'll explain that as we go. And then anything that I just probably won't be burning right away. There are things I like and I'll probably wait until they come out again in another form to burn the one I have on hand. So we're going to jump in and then at the end of the video, I'm going to go through this whole little section and show you. I think I decorated it pretty cute. I'm pretty proud of it. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I'll make that pretty brief. Pretty, pretty brief. So let's just jump right in. Um, I've been talking like that all day today. This is the oldest candle in my collection. I don't know that I will ever burn this and it's not because I love peach bellini. And again, just because there's so much, I won't go through scent notes, but if you have any questions, you know, you can ask me down below and I will answer. But this I got several years ago. I don't know. It might be a 2018. Um, I think it was a mother's day, but I had had like the pistachio ice cream. This was part of the candles that got broke in our move. So Want, want, but I really loved the packaging of this, this whole collection. So I just probably will never burn it. It still smells good, but um, it's just, like I said, it kind of reminds me of life before and the collection that I have now looks pretty much like I had before. I have a banana cabana. I burnt one. I really did love this candle. Um, I have blackberries and basil and a banana bunt cake from this line with the you know wallpaper style bottom I kind of call it but I love both of these I have um I have one of each of those in a post burn review coming up too so uh, stay tuned for that but like I said so those are ones I like so I have one extra um here is another Easter the happy Easter tutti frutti jelly beans I just did a post burn review on this this was my best performer of the Easter candle so I have one in my collection for later I never did burn my Be Mine, the Candy Hearts. Um, this smells just like sugar coated. I did get a Canadian exclusive of the Fine Fragrance Mist and I love it. So this is great. I have a Pink Fairy Gumdrop from Christmas. I really, really love that scent. I have a Cookies and Cream. I grabbed two of these at um, Candle Day Sale and this is awesome. I can smell the little cookie pieces in this one that's burning. I want that again. So I probably won't burn that until it comes out again. Hopefully it does. I have a coconut cream pie. This was probably my favorite of the bake shop. They only came out with like three. One was champagne toast and strawberry pound cake. I had two of each of those candles. So I only grabbed this one um, and I burnt one and I like this candle quite a bit. Um, most, okay. So I think coming up is my bake shop stuff. These are the ones I got. I, I have, I've said many times, I did not grab the floral scented ones. They just did not speak to me. And like I said, in the store, it's got me coughing, so we can't be doing that. But I did really like the bubbly rosé, surprisingly. I just, the rosé does not smell like floral to me. So I have one of these I have not burnt. I had a backup of the lemon cake pop, which if you watch my last post burn reviews, I would consider returning this because it was a super, super light thrower. Kind of disappointing to me just because it was like a four, maybe. It was so light, you had to kind of walk up to the candle to smell it, which... I don't know, with bakery scented candles, I typically can smell them linger and all that stuff. That did not do any of that. It didn't smell bad though. I never got like a plastic crazy smell. I have one of the marble collection of the strawberry pound cake. I just burnt my last, um, the white burn I had. Of, so this is the only strawberry pound cake I have in my collection. So I'll probably hold on to that for a little bit. Ice blueberry biscotti was a favorite. I have burnt one. I think I'm burning one and I have this one just to save. And that's why I may hold on to lemon cake pop, not because it was a fave, but because I have most of this collection, but this is a goodie. Really, really love it. We're moving over here. So I have a pineapple pancakes. Loved this candle. This is just one I'm saving. I think it's just very unique. Pink apple punch is a favorite of mine. I've had it in many, many forms. I really, really love the fruity punch that it gives. It's really good. 
And whipped coffee was another one that I waited. I just picked this up at the last sale to put in with the collection because I got quite a few. It basically just I'm missing the three floral candles from that collection. This is caramel and light. I don't really even pick up coffee whatsoever, but I didn't get into the whipped coffee trend that came around. Um, I like just coffee with sugar-free creamer. So this one, I have to have another candle of this. This would be one I would, I don't do, but I would go on Mercari and pay more for this. This candle was a phenomenal burner. It just smelled so good. I'm so glad I picked up two. I wish I would have got more. That's one I would have loved to have like six of. Here's another Easter backup. I have, um, I think I'm actually currently still burning. It's got like eat left, but this is a marshmallow fluff. I get marshmallow fluff every Easter. Um, I've burnt it for like three years. I love it. It is very Easter to me, very candy smelling. Um, this is a few of this collection here. Let me get them all together. Sorry, I'm not as organized as I thought, guys. Lavender Vanilla is one that my actually my son picked up, and I love it. It kind of has like a light, light men's cologne scent, so I haven't had an opportunity to burn that yet. It's got a nice blue wax, which I just said in my last post for interviews. I am a really loving colored wax for the gradient as it's lit, so I'm kind of on the hunt for those now, which I didn't really think I cared, but this whole collection had a nice colored wax. The Sweet Rosemary Vanilla is one of my favorites. I don't know if I have one or two, maybe only one left, but it's got a very cake scent. Um, it's got vanilla cake in the notes, but it also has that rosemary herbal scent. So that's what I like about it. And it threw really decently. And then the last one in that collection I have is the sugared lemon zest. And this has got a nice green wax. And this one is a little bit more of that limoncello to me. It's got a kitchen scent. So not sugared lemonade, which I do have as well. And then, oh, here we go. Well, let's talk about it. I have sugared lemonade. Um, I haven't had to burn this one yet and I have two and I think this is another one. I'm kind of holding on to to decide. Um, I love lemon scented candles. I really think it just smells clean and fresh and it's a great spring summer scent. Um, so when it comes out in all the different forms in spring and summer, I'm very, uh, intrigued to buy, but I've heard that this doesn't smell so good after you get it burning and I do not love to return once I'm burning. So sometimes when I hear that, I don't even give it a chance just because like I said, they can resell this to someone that loves it if I don't burn it. So I have not decided on that and it's not that I do that often, but I've heard very, very, very mixed reviews on this and I definitely don't think I need two. So I have two, but we'll see what happens with that. I have both of the Hello Sunshine Tropical Spice and then the Beachy Keen, cause you know, Tisha Keen, the Fiji White Sands. These are just two summer scents I like. Well, Tropical Spice is new to me and I actually, I was a little disappointed in the first one I burned. It was pretty light. I don't know if I'm just gonna hold on to this cause I like having something un unique with the Tropical Spice. Um, that doesn't come out very often. Like I said, I've had like five Fiji White Sands, so this one I can count on always returning, but I do think this packaging style is super cute. So for right now, I'm happy to have them in my collection, but I just have one of those. And then from this, um, I don't actually know the name of it, but this wallpapery Hawaiian themed collection, I have an Island Daydream and a Tiki Beach, and I always get Tiki Beach. I love it. It has a men's cologne scent to me. And Island Daydream, I don't know why I like this one, but I did. I picked it up in store and it smells really nice. So um, these are just summer candles I'm hanging on to for that time of year. I only start burning summer candles early if they intrigue me and I want to see if I need more. I do have a Waikiki Beach Coconut and I like Waikiki Beach, Waikiki Beach Coconut, but it is the packaging that got me on this one. That's not my favorite summer scent of all time, but I just, I absolutely love all things pink. So. I have two of these. Um, I will burn one and keep one just because I love the packaging so much. And then I have a random white barn champagne toast. I always have this one. I have it in like a Christmas one and this one. This is just a nice um, intermittent candle I can throw in because I know I love it. So if I have like a week where I didn't love anything I burnt, I usually kind of like reset myself with something I love. So champagne toast is always in my collection. This is, oh, a pineapple mango. I got this because Cynthia had gotten it and she said she liked it. Um, it smells great. I, I think it's a, a nice scent. Um, I just haven't jumped into summer candles yet. So this one's waiting to burn. Here's that other sugared lemonade. Like again, I just, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with these. So I'm just gonna hold off on that. I did grab one of the Hibiscus Paradise. I think this jar is so pretty. So again, this is newer to my collection. I think I picked up at the very last sale. But I just threw everything together, but it is a very beautiful smell. And I, um, 
have something coming from this collection. I just don't know when the package is going to get to me, but I'm very excited to share it with you guys. So I don't even know when I'll burn that because it's so pretty. And this is another random one. I had a vanilla and peach tea also in this style. I did love this style with the wraparound gold stripe and the jars. They look so pretty when they're burning just because it kind of gives an ombre with the light blue and the dark blue. This is another one I think Aiden picked out. It's called Crystal Waters and it smells like men's cologne. I like it, but I am don't have the vanilla and peach tea anymore. So burnt those, they're gone. Now all that I have left are candles that I have at least two or three of. So I'm only going to show you one, but I have multiples of these. I just picked up the Thousand Wishes because I love the body care so much. So I picked up two, one to burn and one to keep. So there's that one. As you just saw, I did made an exchange and I grabbed two of the Sunshine Mimosa. So I'm going to review one for you guys and then keep one in my collection. It is very pretty. And these are all my top performers and my top favorites out of the last probably everything since SAS. So if I liked it, I got a couple of backups. So Wildberry Jam Donut was the winner for me from the Bake Shop collection. I have three of these. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. Because <laughs> uh, you won't judge me. Pink Watermelon. Um, I actually didn't try anything else from this collection. Just because I have tried Mango Mai Tai, um, Black Cherry Merlot. The Green Sage and Apple, that's some, that was, I remember smelling that, it smelled fall. But this one was amazing. It was a... 12 out of 10 burning. It's the strongest candle I think I've ever burnt. So I have three because I want to spread them out over the summer. And so this one will be like one in my collection and I'll burn two over the summer. So I needed that many. I needed that many. Um, <laughs> I love everybody. The sweet carrot cake was just like, this was my favorite. I don't know why I said the 2D Fairy Dolby. I liked that one in my last week's burn, but this is my favorite candle. I've already burned two and I have two more. I really, really like this candle. I want to save one for fall because I think this is a very pretty fall carrot cake scent. It's like, I, I love cream cheese carrot cake bars in the fall. So I love this and I don't care that it's Easter themed because I really, really love the scent of that candle. Island Margarita. I just love the packaging. I have two of these and this is a really pretty collection. I love the vivid colors of the neon and I just love Island Margarita. It just takes me there. So I have a couple of those. But out of that collection, the Orange Pineapple Punch is my favorite. I was surprised. I thought I would like it. I love it. I have three of these. And that's just, like I said, with the pink watermelon, depending on what they come out with over the summer, obviously. But I just wanted to have enough to get me through like one a month, you know, just to enjoy the ones I really know that I really like. So that's why I picked up so many. But I will also keep one in my collection because that's always the ones like this that you won't see for like two years, right? And... Raspberry Tangerine. I do like this one. So this, I did, I, I misspoke. Out of that pink watermelon, the black cherry Merlot, this one I just recently tried, but I'm burning one and I have one and I really, really like it. It smells very slightly like a champagne toast. It isn't because it doesn't have the effervescent, like a uh, bubbly champagne note, but it's a very fruity, bright, um, distinct fruit smells fruit scent that I really like. So I love this in the body care. So I picked it up in the candle and surprisingly I love it in the candle as well. And that, if you can believe it, is my entire three wick Bath and Body Works collection. I had to make it three parts. You see why? Um, so these will, like I said, I usually burn a few a week. I'm not going to say six anymore because it hasn't been six. When I was home over quarantine, it was six easily a week, but now I'm down a little bit and that's okay. So I'm not going through as many there's my pup. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I'm now I'm going to insert a clip of me just showing this whole background. Cause like I said, I'm really proud of it. I put it together and I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys. Okay. So here is a look at everything. Once I got it all together, this is my little makeup office area where I film my videos. So here's my nail polishes. And I thought this would just be kind of a good way to wrap up all the collection videos because this is kind of how I store everything. So there's my nail polishes, some makeup up there. Sorry for the heavy breathing, I've been cleaning. And then here's my candles and there's more makeup palettes, lots of makeup. There's where I keep my fine ferris mist and my lotions. And then the bottom is just a hair care side and a skincare side. And I do rotate that through that pretty quickly. So then here's my cute little wall signs, aren't they cute? And that's just like where I do my makeup. There's floor makeup, some cute flowers. That's an Amazon. It's not an Ikea nine drawer. It's just an Amazon version, but I have a lot of different 
things going on over here. So let me just show you. Got like foundation drawer, foundation. And there's my blushes and bronzers and highlighters. And then I got, oh, I think I skipped one. I think this is more like palettes. It's bad. Then there's all my eye products. And then there's like my lip stuff. And that's just like makeup eraser sponges. We won't go into that. And then this is kind of where I keep my everyday makeup, what I'm using, what I'm trying. So I just thought I would step back and show you that space because I'm probably not sitting at a great angle for you to see everything. And I really like the way that all came together. So that'll wrap up my collection videos and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Thank you. Bye.